We're just three days away from fight night, and many of the UFC 140s will be here in Etobicoke this morning at an Extreme Couture Gym, giving the public and members of the media a little demonstration of what we might expect to see when they take to the Octagon Saturday night at the Air Canada Centre. It's nice to be back here, having the fans with you. You know, uh, the number one seller for my clothing company, Punch Athletics, is Canada. Canadian fans are the most die-hard, best fans in the world. And how are you feeling right now? How was your training? I feel really good. You know, our training went really good, the wrestling went good, stand-up went great, jiu-jitsu went great, I work with producer we're doing for this one. I'm just here to check out the UFC Zoo, really. Yeah. Never been to one of these things before, and it really... Well, I want to know for myself how it would be like. It's not too often the UFC comes to Toronto, so I had some time. After watching the fighters hit the mats here at the gym, I can tell you that I'm more than a little excited about fight night. UFC 140, it promises to be an action-packed event, whether it be light heavyweight champ, John Bones Jones putting his strap on the line against Leota the Dragon Machida, or heavyweight Frank Mir taking on Big Nog, or the Brazilian's twin brother Little Nog taking on legendary Tito Ortiz. This is going to be a great night, a card you don't want to miss. So if you can't be at the Air Canada Center Saturday night, at the very least, make sure that you get the event on pay-per-view. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Chris Doucette.